I am Carlette and I'm from Project CB and it's the first day of lockdown 2020. Well, it seems as if it's gonna be a while. It feels as if it's already forever and it's not even 24 hours just yet. But I've got some um, amazing people with me because they are doing their best. They're, I'm here at the engine um, garage in Mayerton, you know, where um, on the corner um, where the fire brigade is, it's there. So I got to know these people and um, they're awesome. But Heidi and Mishak, so this is Heidi and this is Mishak, they are going to help us out on our first day of lockdown. So, guys, tell us, what do you do? We were a little bit unsure of how, you know, the people are going to get to work and everybody is very uncertain and so on. But, you know, everybody got to work and we handling, we sanitizing, we using masks. Mishak, how's the people outside? Because you're the a manager and um, you're going outside a lot and help the people out with their petrol. So... Okay, we thought it was going to be um, a total silence, but as much as we see customers coming in, we're making sure that each and every customer got some sanitizers on, they have masks and gloves, so that we 100% sure what's going on. Yes, thank you. So, how do you guys do it? There's a procedure, I know. So, when you come into the engine um, garage, there's a, a bottle of sanitizer, and quickly explain to the customers um, that's coming now for um, because some of us need to go to work. There's um, loads of us that's going to sit at home and we're not going to use our car that often or that much. And um, but there's these people that need to go and, and work. So what will they expect? Well, if they come in, they can be assured that we sanitize. You know, when you walk in, you get sanitized. We use Dettol to sanitize all the product to make sure that, you know, there's no contamination. Um, we try to um, do the floors, get sanitized with Dettol and, and, you know, sanitizer and the tools get sanitized, the cards get sanitized, the machines get sanitized. Yeah, if we can sanitize the petrol, we do that as well. <laughs> Maybe there will be a, a little bit of a oomph going <laughs> as well. Mishak, outside, how's it? Um, how, how, what do you guys do outside? Okay, outside, the guys are so positive about it, and they're making sure each and every customer, whatever they use to charge or whatever, they must make sure after that you sanitize the cards, you sanitize the machine now and then. So, but the guys are. Not that scared, knowing that the virus is very dangerous, but yes, they are so positive. It's a great atmosphere outside. Um, and, you know, the people are... I'm going to have a chat with them right now, see what their um, hearts and attitudes are. But as I'm looking there, yeah, they are doing what they do best, and they're happy. Everyone's happy and good and definitely clean. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Um, I know that it's quite a, a, an interesting time that we've got on our hands, but I think we can learn something from this, and this is to, to be clean. Sanitize. 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 Yes. So maybe that can be our motto for today, day one of lockdown 2020 in South Africa, that we need to sanitize. All right, so thank you so much. Yes. I think one of the things that the people need to know is, you know, we, we've got electricity, we've got petrol, we've got bread, we've got milk, we've got Krispy Kreme, so, and we've got an ATM that we sanitize. Every time there's a customer, we sanitize. So we try to make the public feel safe. So you will definitely be safe here at the engine garage on the corner of, of the, on the corner of? Galloway and Johan Leroux. On the corner of Galloway and Johan Leroux, you will definitely find the best Krispy Kremes and I hope we, we're going to um, get a sample out of this as well. But um, there's everything that you need at the one stop. So come and um, get yourself sanitized <laughs> here as well. So <laughs> <laughs> Until later, we, we're going to um, see what the people outside um, is doing as well. So let's go. 
Yeah, my name, is, uh, the nickname is Stones. The same name is Marjo. It's the first time I experienced this situation. But the situation is good, although it's hampering some of the, the public members as well as the, the, the business people. Because now, some of the people, they didn't know how to make the permit and where, who's supposed to sign. If the information we did give, the, the, we get the information in time, I think most of the people, they will be able to do whatever. Like the people of farming, they, they don't know. Because some of the people, they deliver the feed for the cattle. Then they must have the permit inside their car and they, there is no people who are supposed to be more than two inside the, the, the truck or a van. But to, to, to look for ourselves, because this, this, this corona virus is very dangerous. When I saw on the TV, it's better for us to, to, to prevent before it spread in Houghton province. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. My name is Shepard Ntantamguni. I'm working from taxi, I'm, I'm a taxi driver from MATA, of which is Miaton African Taxi Association. Yes, the situation is good, but now the problem is uh, 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 we are not happy about the treatment from the government because of uh, the government says we must start 5 o'clock and 9 o'clock we must knock down. But now the problem is each, 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 each uh, load, we didn't get that aid. At least the government should say we can drive, we can work the whole day as long as uh, we, 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 we transport those people that number eight. Maybe it will be much better than uh, from five o'clock until nine o'clock and then uh, nine o'clock we knocked down and uh, we didn't get that number each load. He said we must uh, 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 load eight people. So that thing is it affects us as taxi drivers because of right now I'm waiting until four o'clock and now until four or until eight o'clock. I don't think that it's gonna be enough for me and to to to, to even to the, the whole staff because of now people there are so many there in, 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 in ShopRite, but now the problem is we, we must not uh, uh, transport the people until 4 o'clock. Uh, hello, uh, this is Solomon Matinga from Model Service Station. Uh, I'm going to make a remark about this uh, coronavirus, the situation that we are currently facing now. Uh, I will start with the safety measure. Uh, in our filling station, yes, we do sanitize. We are, make, are doing sanitizations from the customers who are entering the shop. Uh, every safety measure is accordingly. But what is uh, stressful is about economically. We are so wondering what is going to happen, more especially after these 21 days. We are, after just 21 days of lockdown, we are so worried whether even the cure will, going to, the cure will be found. We are stressed. Even when you go back at home, you are just wondering whether you are safe. Hence, we are working. Yeah. Hi, this is John Mashiani from Model Service Station. Um, a remark about this pandemic. Um, it's try to be safe, be sanitizing as much as we can, and also our customers must have their sanitizers in their cars, homes, wherever. Try to just stay safe. That's what I can say. Thank you.
in these times of trouble, this song that the staff is singing is such an incredible song. It says that God is powerful and nothing can beat the power of God. He is all powerful. He will heal you when you're sick and He will sort out your troubles. And you just need to call on Him. And He will answer you. So from our side, Project CB, I will uh, meet up again with you. Stay safe and know that God is all powerful.